Hey, it's Jake from Slasher's Podcast. Yes, still part of Slasher's Podcast. I know I haven't been on in a while, but that's because my real life is burning down in shambles all around me because I have real life responsibilities, but I'm here because it's October, which means we're watching a horror movie a day because God damn it, we deserve it. Self-love. I'm talking about Hell High, a movie that I have only recently watched. It's been one of those things that's been in the kind of zeitgeist where I've heard of it, I've known of it, but I actually watched it, and it was pretty good. I watched it 1.25 speed, so very much like the last time I watched Returning New from High, all of the music was super killer because just a little bit punchier. Whenever I see Starlight from The Boys, I always think of Maureen Mooney playing Miss Storm in this movie, and so that shows you kind of how it's always permeated my being because I've known of the movie, but this time I actually watched it. Dickens, named after a Britishman, who has a mask like a Britishman, Malcolm McDowell from Clockwork Orange. Coincidence? We'll just call that a tasteful homage. Not a whole lot to say about this movie. Smiler is just bulk from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I'm totally okay for that. With that, you uncultured swine! And lastly, I want to talk about how something artistic actually happens. Where it goes from the blood-red violent room, where carnage and sanguin exsanguination has occurred, to a monochromatic room where all of his life and lust thereof has disappeared. I kind of wish it just stopped there. I don't think you need the school part, where it's got the... the desaturated and it's got the I'm watching static and my brain's fucked up Yahoo! tell me what you think in the comments of hell high and make sure to stay tuned every single day of this month hit the green screen every single day of this month as we watch horror movies with our good friends from damn that scary frightmares whomever else bye